African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC-3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 30th of July, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue to conduct a special military operation. Units of the North Group of Troops defeated the personnel and equipment of the 57th Mechanized, 82nd Air Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, 36th Marine Brigade, 3rd National Guard Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Storitsa, Lipsy, Volchensk, and Tycho Kharkov region. During the day, seven counterattacks by assault groups of the 42nd Mechanized, 57th Motorized Infantry, and 92nd Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces were repelled. Enemy losses amounted to over 250 military personnel, a U.S.-made HMMWV armored combat vehicle, two pickup trucks, a U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer, a 152mm Jayatsen B cannon, and a 122mm D-30 howitzer. The Plaston Electronic Reconnaissance Station and the Field Ammunition Depot were destroyed. Units of the West Group of Troops improved the situation along the front line, defeated the formations of the 14th, 67th, 115th Mechanized, 3rd Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 110th and 125th Terrorist Defense Brigades in the areas of the settlements of Simkovka, Tabivka of the Kharkov region, Makivka of the Lugansk People's Republic, Krasny Lyman and Terny of the Donetsk People's Republic. The Ukrainian armed forces lost up to 500 military personnel per day, a tank, two armored combat vehicles, three pickup trucks, a 155mm Bogdan self-propelled artillery mount, a 155mm M198 gun made in the USA, two 122mm D-30 howitzers, a 105mm M119 gun made in USA. In addition, the Croatian-made RAK-SA-12 MLRS combat vehicle, Bukov LAD, and Enclave Electronic Warfare Stations, and two field ammunition depots were destroyed. Units of the Southern Group of Forces took active actions to take more advantageous positions, defeated manpower and equipment of the 24th, 28th, 32nd, 54th Mechanized, 79th Air Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of Verknekomenskoy Settlements, Velyagora, Shesavyar, Aleksandr Sheltino, Seversk, and Katerinivka of the Donetsk People's Republic. They repelled a counterattack by units of the 5th Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Enemy losses amounted to up to 650 military personnel, three armored combat vehicles, two cars, three 155mm M777 howitzers made in the USA, two 155mm M198 guns made in the USA, two 152mm D20 howitzers, two 105mm M119 guns made in the USA. Three field ammunition depots of the Ukrainian armed forces were destroyed within 24 hours. Units of the Center Group of Troops, as a result of active actions, liberated the village of Leninskoy of the Donetsk People's Republic and improved the tactical situation. They defeated the formations of the 31st, 32nd, 47th Mechanized, 1st Tank, 68th Infantry Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces in the areas of the settlements of Toritsk, Zeleny, Vozvazenka, Sergivka, Grodovka, Nikolivka, and Novgorodskoy of the Donetsk People's Republic. They repelled six counterattacks by assault groups of the 53rd, 100th, 110th, 151st Mechanized, 142nd Infantry, 95th Air Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The enemy lost up to 315 troops, a tank, two infantry fighting vehicles, six vehicles, and two 122mm D-30 howitzers. Units of the Vostok Group of Troops improved the situation along the front line and defeated the manpower and equipment of the 72nd, 116th Mechanized, 
58th Motorized Infantry Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine in the areas of the settlements of Vadyanoi, Storozivoy, Makarovka of the Donetsk People's Republic and Guliapol of the Zaporizhzhia region. The Ukrainian armed forces lost more than 125 military personnel, an armored combat vehicle, seven vehicles, a British-made FH-70 155mm howitzer and a US-made M198 155mm howitzer. Units of the Dnepr group of troops defeated the formations of the 141st Infantry, 128th Mountain Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, and the 35th Marine Brigade in the areas of the settlements of Novodanilovka, Lobkovo, Kamenskoy, Zaporizhzhia region, and Tyajinka, Kherson region. Enemy losses amounted to up to 90 military personnel, three vehicles, a 122mm D-30 howitzer, an enclave and electronic warfare station, and four field ammunition depots. Operational tactical aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, missile forces, and artillery of groupings of troops of the armed forces of the Russian Federation destroyed the Marzell Air Reconnaissance Radar Station and also hit concentrations of enemy manpower and military equipment in 137 regions. Air defense systems shot down seven U.S.-made Mars missiles, a U.S.-made Patriot anti-aircraft guided missile, and 45 unmanned aerial vehicles. In total, since the beginning of the special military operation, the following have been destroyed, 631 aircraft, 278 helicopters, 28,692 unmanned aerial vehicles, 556 anti-aircraft missile systems, 16,725 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,393 combat vehicles of multiple launch rocket systems, 12,567 field artillery guns and mortars, 24,201 a unit of special military vehicle equipment. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.